Hey, I want you to have a look at this fake website. Ignore the fact that the color scheme's a little bit all over the place, okay? This is just a fake test website I use for tutorials. But we have a header at the top, which is sticky. And you can notice the page flowing down, but do you notice anything that is not moving? Yup, it's the footer. Well, not the footer, because if I go all the way down, that gray bar there is actually the footer. This blue bar here is just something maybe that you or your client wants where they want to permanently show, I don't know, social media links, email, phone number, could even be a subscription form or something like that. Even a ticker tape marquee that's just scrolling across with latest news or something. That is permanently at the bottom. It is really simple and easy to do this, okay? And I'm going to show you how. Now make sure you're in your header template or when you are on your page, click edit header and make sure you're there. What we're gonna do is we are gonna add in another section, okay? And we're just gonna have it as one section like that. I'm just gonna rename this new section that's been added and call it a bottom section like that. You would probably give it a better name. I'm gonna move it now to be below the actual header. Remember, we are still in the header template. And if you were a little bit unsure about what I said earlier, the original header section, if you go to advanced and motion effect, is set to the top, okay? This one here, I'll show you in a moment, okay? In fact, I'll show you now. If you go to advanced, okay, I mean, there is no content, okay, so excuse that. But if I go and put in bottom, it doesn't go to the bottom because it's in the header template, so it still stays at the top. And you might go, well, why don't you just add it to the footer? Believe me, it does not work that way. So let me just take that all off because we don't need it. So anyway, in this new section, all I'm gonna do is ensure that it is full width and there will be uh, the vertical height. I'm not gonna touch that. I will, however, make sure that the margin and padding is set to zero. You can get away with not doing this, but I want everything to be fully flush, okay? Now, inside of here, the column, again, all I'm going to do is just zero out the margin and padding. I'm keeping it really simple. Now, into the column, I'm going to drop in the icon list. The reason I'm using the icon list is because you might want to add phone numbers, a subscribing form, anything like that. You can do what you want. I am going to make this be inline, and I'm going to go to style and centralize. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time styling this. I'm just going to make the icons be white. And I've made the text weightier. I mean, you can't even see it, so just take my word for it. Now, please bear in mind, though, that when you are using an icon list, if we go back to content, you can do what you want here. You can add a low, um, an icon, remove an icon, change the text, add a link, add a dynamic link. You can, you know, you can even have it open a pop up. There's, there's lots of stuff you can do with it. OK, so let's leave that as it is now for the icon list. Sorry. Go to the advanced tab and I'm going to give this a background color. This is on the widget, not the section not the column, this is on the widget. Please remember that. Let's just scroll down and give that a blue color. Can you now see if I just expand that, the preview? Because we had zero, zero for the column um, and, the, and the section, everything has gone across. Of course, I'm sure a lot of you are sat there shouting and gone, well, you could have gone over here to layout and just said no gap as well. Yeah, I could have done, but I'm just showing you multiple ways of doing it if you're not familiar with doing stuff like this. Now, this icon list, okay, is at the top. If I go to advanced and I go to motion effects, okay, I, I could do something like this, right? Again, sticky bottom. It is not going to the bottom, right? Look, let me prove it to you. Let me update and do that. It is not going to the bottom. So how do we get it to the bottom? Again, I'm just removing that motion effect. We tried it on the section, it didn't work. We tried it on the widget, it does not work. Really, really easy, simple. Let me just go back to uh, my advanced tab, the top of it, the layout. You don't have to give this a Z index of 9999, okay? You don't have to. I, for my mindset, like to do that because I want to definitely make sure it's always going to be on top and overlapping everything, okay? So I put in a 999, especially if you have got any overlap effects in your website. Then what I'm going to do is go to the width. We're still in the advanced tab for the widget, okay, for the icon list. I am now going to set this to be custom and I'm going to type in a hundred. Now you might say, well, why don't you just pick a hundred percent there? There's a reason. Okay. There is a reason. Stay with me on this. That is now a hundred percent. Of course, if you feel like this is too close to the edges while you're in here, just go to your padding maybe and you might go, oh, I don't know. Give me about five, five, five. In fact, I just let me link it. Just give me five all the way around. All right. You can play around with it. So all we've done so far is Z index, a uh, bit of padding, and we've given it a width of 100%. Go to position down here and set this to be 
fixed. If you pick absolute, it will only be in position for the header section. And for every other section that comes and goes, it will start to move a bit. What you want to do is ensure that your position is set to fix. That will be for basically the entire page, right? Now I'm going to go over here. Can you see the options for horizontal orientation? Well, it's not going to make a subtle difference for left or right because it's all it's full width, right? But if I go here now to top and bottom, if I click bottom for vertical orientation, look, it has gone to the bottom of the screen. It is now doing exactly what I want it to do. And as I scroll up and down, it stays there. That is literally it. Okay, that is literally it. However, there is a problem. When you get down to here, the footer, the footer is now hidden. So I'm just going to hit update for a moment. And I'm going to go to my edit footer. Because my footer is bigger than that. Now, you might need to measure it with, you know, well, you know with, with one of your pixel rulers or whatever. But I kind of know it's 50 pixels high. So I'm going to go over to this um, footer, right? And I'm going to say, give me some padding of 50, like that. I will now update. And now when I preview this page, okay, look, the blue bar is at the bottom. And when I scroll down, I can now see all of my footer. I'm not getting any gap because there might be a tiny bit of overlap, but it's working absolutely fine for what I want. I probably can reduce it. It doesn't need to be 50. I think I could have got away with 40 there, maybe even 30 or something like that. But I want to show you something else you could do where you could go a step further. And because this is in the header, that bottom blue bar will appear on every page. It'll even appear on your post as well. So have a think about it. Do you want it to be on every page or only on some? If I go back to edit header, this is really quick. I just want to show you one other thing. If we go back to the icon list over here and we go to the advanced tab, this is set to 100%. What if I go for 50% like this? I now have the blue bar over here. What if I want to move it over to the right hand side like that? So now maybe as you're scrolling up and down, there is like a subscribe now or whatever. You know, you might position things, but you could also be a little bit clever. Let me put this on the left. Let me now duplicate it, right? I've duplicated it. And you're going, well, where is it? Well, both of them are on the left because they were both duplicate. Well, one of them's a duplicate and it's on fix. So they're literally sat behind one another. If I click on the second one, go to advanced, I can now do this. I now have two items there. I could add a third one in. You mess around with your whip, 33.3%, whatever you want to do. You know, you could even change it completely. I mean, I I wouldn't do this, what I'm about to do right now. Yeah, I, you know, I really wouldn't do like that kind of thing. But if you wanted to, you could. Now, there are other ways you could approach this, okay? Because I am doing this on the actual widgets but I find I have a bit more control over it uh, in terms of the look and feel. And all I'm using is the custom whips to basically put further items in line with one another. So remember over here layout. Now if I go with 33.3, .3, look, you can see what's happening there. Obviously now you would adjust your items and stuff like that. Now what if, let me just get rid of this one. Let me put this one back to 100%. What about when you get to the mobile? Well, that's actually pretty easy as well. It is fixed at the bottom, right? It is fixed at, sorry, this is a, a mega menu. And I had, sorry, you can tell it's a test website because I've not adjusted the menu there, but it is fixed at the bottom. All you've got to do really is just make sure that for your mobile, if you were using an icon list or you were using whatever you're using, just make sure you've adjusted the sizes accordingly. So it works fine on the mobile uh, and on the desktop as well and on the tablet. That is pretty simple to apply and work with. Um, I hope you have fun with it because someone did ask about this and I hope this answers their question. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.